Game three between the Port Colburn Sailors and Fort Erie Meteors from the Leisure Plex in Fort Erie. Mets looking to take a commanding 3-0 series lead over Port Colburn. First period action of this one, and it's the Meteors striking first. This puck pops out in the slot for Kyle Adamo, who rips home his second of the round. Adamo has Fort Erie on the board first as the Meteors go up 1-0. And just a minute later, Dominic DeFrancesco is going to pick up a loose puck at the side of the goal. He flips it over the shoulder of Isaac Gravel, and the Meteors take a 2-0 lead in the first frame. That's where we would sit after 20 in Fort Erie. To the second period we go, and things starting to get a little bit rough out front as Charlie Burns and P.J. Alexander get tied up with each other. Meteors come in to protect their goaltender as Hunter Coley gets tied up with Ethan Bolabrook. Liam Beamish is gonna grab PJ Alexander as the two of them get at each other in the far corner as this game getting unhinged in the second period and a little bit of a sign of things to come in this hockey game between Fort Erie and Port Colburn. As the linesman finally able to break up the scrum out of the corner as we continue to play in the second period. Meteors now pushing for more on offense. Dominic DeFrancesco gonna take this pass from Blake Hall. He's gonna wind in and fire one home. DeFrancesco's got his second of the night and Ford Erie takes a three nothing lead. What a night for number 10 it was in the black and orange. Still in the second period now late stages. Charlie Burns is gonna get knocked over in his net. He goes right back at Ethan Bolabrook as a penalty on the way and a scrum ensues out front as Grant Spada gonna get tied up with Brody Co out front of the crease and yet another scrum in this game three. After 40, Meteors lead three nothing. We'll head to the third period now. Sailors with an empty net. Dominic DeFrancesco is gonna bury the empty netter as he completes the game three hat trick for the Meteors. Three for DeFrancesco. He makes it four nothing for Erie as he puts this one out of reach in the third frame. Sailors pushing for something on offense, but Charlie Burns makes the glove save as he stopped all 20 shots he saw in the contest. Now dying seconds of the third period. Zach Mizzy gets tied up in the corner and things break loose in this one. Owen Penny is gonna grab Sammy Sino and the two of them are gonna drop the mitts. Penny and Sino going at it on the near dot and Owen Penny's gonna get a couple of quality rights in on Sino who's taken down to the ice as finally the official able to separate the two of them. Owen Penny then going right at Liam Wilson on the Sailors as if this place needed any more reason to get fired up. Penny on his way off the ice fires the crowd up as Fort Erie is gonna roll to game three victory over the Sailors. They take it by a final score of four nothing. Game four goes Friday night in Port Colburn. Fort Erie with a chance to advance to round two. Fort Erie Meteors take game three over the Port Colburn Sailors, 4-0, large in part due to Dominic DeFrancesco. Dom, three goals on the night. Just kind of take me through your mindset and preparation coming into this one. Oh, preparation, you know it's a playoff game. You've got to be locked in. You've got to be ready to play. So I came in here ready to contribute to our team, and I did the best I could, and scoring goals helped us and helped our team win. We're ready for game four now. Dom, obviously uh, coming into a big game three, what was the mindset, what was the preparation coming in for you guys and executed to perfection? Oh, our mindset was just a win. We know it's playoffs, we know what we need to do. Obviously, he's shown by Penny. Penny's getting into fights, he's showing that our team's here for business. And so that's what we were here to do. We were here to win, and that's what we came here to do. Big chance for you guys to advance to the semifinals this Friday in Port Colburn. What's the mindset? What do you guys got to do to advance here in four? We're going to do the exact same thing we've been doing. We're going to keep on putting pressure. We're going to use a team effort and just keep on attacking keep on showing what we've got and that should be good enough and we'll take that to St. Catharines as well. Take me through your goaltender Charlie Burns six straight periods not allowed a goal what does he mean to this team? Oh he's the best he's he's like the core of our team he's a great guy in the locker room he gets us going on the ice we, with somebody you can rely on in the net it's it's a great feeling it allows us to play with composure we're not nervous when he's in the net and it keeps us going and allows us to score and 
beat teams like this. Goaltender Charlie Burns with me. Charlie, back-to-back -back shutouts for you. Just take me through uh, your mindset going into these last couple of games. You've been excellent. Yeah, uh, I've just been trying to give my team a chance, you know, just uh, give them the, the best opportunity to win the game, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Haven't seen a lot of shots, but when you have Charlie, you've come up big with a couple of big saves. How do you kind of stay in that mindset and get ready for the next one? Yeah, you just always got to be watching the play, you know, keep your mind in it. Um, just just little things like that, you know, to keep your head in it and uh, not doze off. Because, you know, sometimes uh, when you don't get a lot of shots for a certain amount of time, it uh, can be tough, but you just got to keep your head in it. Up 3-0 now in this series, a chance to close it out on Friday night in Port Colburn. What's the mindset and uh, what do you guys got to do to close this series out on Friday night? Yeah, uh, we just got to keep playing the same way. You know, it's, uh, it's been working for us, so uh, that's what we got to do on, uh, on Friday when we go to Port to close this thing out.